Hi there, it's Nick from Website Success. I'm here to uh, to talk you through our website performance testing software, which is a piece of software that um, I think every web developer should be um, should be using, and uh, probably every business owner should be uh, should be using as well. Because uh, effectively, what this uh, what this toolkit uh, what, sorry what this does for our toolkit is it it gives us a very good view of everything to do with quality about your website, and uh, and as we know, quality is a massive thing in uh, in Google's eyes, making sure that it's delivering its Customers to um, to good quality um, good quality websites so um, makes a big difference to your um, to your search results so uh, I'll give you a very quick uh, quick overview but um, you'll get this uh, you'll get this report as part of your uh, your toolkit we run it automatically once a month and then um, one of the time in the month so if you're making changes through the month we can uh, we can retest it and um, and give you that uh, that information but it gives you an overall uh, quality uh, an overall score quality experience marketing compliance and technology and uh, it scores you uh, accordingly for each of uh, each of those items, so you can see what's improving, what's uh, what's deteriorating over um, over time. But uh, it then gives you a very quick breakdown of what's working well on a uh, on a particular site and um, and what's uh, less so, as we can uh, as we can see. Um, the thing I love about this the uh, the most, it doesn't just tell you what's working and what's not working. You can drill in. I'm going to give you a very quick rundown down our uh, kind of uh, our, our reporting side um, down here and show you how it uh, how it works. So I'll just start at the top, go straight into to um, straight into spelling and as you can see there are unrecognized spellings in this um in this site, and we can come in, and there may be some like this is the brand name, so we can learn that spelling. But um, somebody's forgotten how to spell forgotten, then, so um, we can uh, we can look at that, and uh, it'll tell us how it should have been, uh, how it thinks it should have been spelt. But more importantly, we can click into it, and it'll take us onto uh, onto a view of the site, and we can actually see where it uh, where it actually um, is spelt incorrectly within that um, within that page. So. Um, I'll just jump back out of uh, out of that and give you a quick run through. But that that's the kind of detail that you can um, that you can get from this um, um, from this software just to make sure everything uh, everything is as it should be. So um, coming into uh, into grammar, a lot more grammatical errors have been picked up. Some may not be grammatical errors, but at least you can look into it. So um, so yeah, it gives you a whole list of uh, of these, and again, you can jump in and see where those uh, those issues uh, issues are. So massive. Um, Tick in the box for these guys. They've got no broken links for the site, which I'm actually quite surprised about. It's really unusual to find a site that doesn't have uh, broken links on it. So, uh, so that's good to uh, good to see. And they've got some prohibitive content, which often isn't. It's just words using in um, um, your, your words using in a, in a, in a Different way or or together that may have different connotations. So, uh, but it checks for uh, checks for that. Um, most importantly, particularly with the Google algorithm these days, it goes into and has a look at how your mobile um, how your mobile site looks. So it gives you a view of those. It gives you a score and. Um, you know, gives you some ideas. So making sure that links are big enough to um, to tap on, which is obviously uh, more of a challenge on a uh, on a mobile phone than it is on a desktop. Um, making sure that the page doesn't scroll from left to uh, left to right, that kind of thing. So it picks up on all of those uh, all of those um, items. And again, you can see which pages have got the uh, got the issues on. Um, very importantly. Again, this site scores really well on um, on speed. Um, Google's massively keen on having um, having. Sites that are uh, that are quick to um, quick to load, um, so um, so this will um, this will tell you how each of your site uh, pages within the uh, within the website are uh, <coughs> are performing and what actual size they um, size they are. So we can check that. It gives you a mobile speed version. So quite often people don't scale down their images for mobile. So um, so you might get a reasonable score on desktop, but not on uh, on mobile where uh, where broadband speeds are not so uh, not so good. So it lets you know. Uh, uh, how things are uh, how things are performing on um, on there, and we can also drill into the actual uh, the actual images. For example, there may be one image that's on the every page on the website that's causing every page to slow down. So you can actually drill in and find out what those images are, and then get those uh, get those changed on your um, on your site. Uh, gives you a reading age, which is um, as long as you've got a reading age of less than uh, less than thirteen, and this is an American score. So. Um, so yeah, so um, you need an average reading age of uh, just under eleven to read this site, which is uh, which is great. It's not too complicated, easy for people to uh, to understand. <coughs> Popularity is you know how it's performing over time. Are fewer people coming to the site than they used to be, um, which is certainly the case when this uh, when this loads for this um, for this site. So um, so we're seeing quite a um, quite a significant drop off over um, over time in this. Um, 
in this site and um, that's actually because this site doesn't have SSL on it and um, with Google's new rules um, the uh, the amount of people they're showing it to is uh, is dropping significantly so we, we just um, we just rebuilt this site and uh, it now will have SSL on so that should uh, that should massively uh, massively help when we retest the um, the new site. Um, we then come on to look at search ranking and uh, how things are performing. So we put a, a few keywords in just to um, just to see. We do have a, a much more um, involved search ranking tool, which will get us part of the toolkit, which can look at hundreds of keywords in lots of different locations. But this gives us just a good indicate, you know, quick indication of how things are uh, how things are performing. And as you can see, unsurprisingly, with no SSL certificate, the key things they uh, they sell and want to focus on, they're not showing up for apart from position twenty for run freezer bouquets, which. Um, Probably won't generate a lot of uh, a lot of traffic, but as I say, we've got a much more in-depth report for uh, for that um, metadata that looks at you know your, your your page titles, your page descriptions, your images with uh, which you've got issues. And um, again, this was a real problem um, with this site. They're actually paying a uh, an agency to uh, to look after their SEO, and uh, of course, we reviewed it. And went, mm, don't think they are looking after your SEO. So uh, things that have been uh, amended and improved on the uh, on the new site. Um, are they using alternative uh, alternative text? Are the headings being used correctly on the uh, on the pages? Do they have H1 headings throughout? Um, doing pretty well there. Um, are there a good number of backlinks coming to the uh, coming to the site? And where are those uh, where are those coming from? Um, Duplicate content is an interesting uh, an interesting one. So this um, this site had quite a few pages that were. Um, Registered as different pages, but had exactly the same content on. They're actually just one page, but they'd been uh, they'd been shown in different places with different web addresses, um, multiple uh, multiple times, which Google doesn't uh, doesn't like. So um, so yeah, that's something else to um, something else to address. And then it looks at accessibility and the rules of accessibility. Is it GDPR uh, GDR? GDPR compliant. Um, does it follow best practice for technology? Well, this is a pretty old site now, so we're not not particularly surprised that it um, that it falls down. You know, they haven't used SSL as I've also already referred to. Um, so, um, so yeah, lots of uh, lots of issues there. Um, but but effectively, if I and, and finally um, finally it'll find any faults on there. So there's some missing files on the uh, on the site. So this is there's usually an image that's referred to but not being pulled through. So, um, so all in all, this is a really comprehensive um, piece of software that we uh, that can be run over your uh, un over your website. I recommend it's run regularly, and that's part of what you get in the uh, in the toolkit. And it just makes sure you're uh, you know you're absolutely in tip top um, tip top condition technically, and um, that'll massively help in your uh, in your marketing.